In this screencast, we're going to talk about how to duplicate frame an object along a complex path. So the first thing we're going to need here is actually our complex path. So we're going to go in and add a new curve. I'm just going to add a path. You'll know that there are other options here, for example, various flavors of curve and circle. They will work too. A path is just more illuminating right here. You bring in a path, basically you get what looks like a straight line. If I tab into edit mode, we'll see edit mode right there, and zoom in on this, you'll see that I've got the, a line that's got a number of arrows indicating the direction of the path. And in fact, if I were to pick a particular vertex here, I can actually drag the vertices of this path in any shape I wanted. So now I've got this curved path, which is lovely. I'm actually going to make it a little bit more exa exaggerated just to, for purposes of this demonstration, just so we can really see it. So now I come back out. I've got this lovely path. It's somewhat three-dimensional. It's, you know, everything we always wanted in a shape. Now I need a shape to duple frame along as I'm going to add a mesh. I'm going to add a monkey. I'm going to scale down quite a bit so we can actually see what's going on here. So we're going to spin him around. And boom. There we go. So we got our monkey lined up. What I'm going to do here is something that's a little bit interesting. Okay. With the monkey selected, so the monkey was selected first. Now I'm going to select my curve as well. And I can get to this next command either in the object menu or from the spacebar menu. But either way, I'm going to go to parent. I'm going to make parent so that the, the monkey will become the child of the curve. And I'm going to call this a uh, follow path parent. And we see that right now the monkey has a dotted line running from it to the beginning of our line as I move around in that line tracks. Basically what this is to say is this is the monkey is following the path but it's at this distance measured by the dotted line. Switch over here to the uh, object button bar here and turn on dupla frames. We see my monkey is at that distance from the curve the whole way along. It's actually following the curve. It looks sort of like a spinal cord right now. We'll adjust that in a second. But I'd really like to get the monkey actually on the curve. So I'm going to go in here and I am going to clear the origin. So at this point, having I need to clear the origin as I said. So if we go to the object menu and I'm going to go to clear apply, I'm going to clear the origin. And the monkey snaps down. Basically, I've gotten rid of the monkey's origin being separate from the path. And now I want to address the fact that I've got way too many monkeys. So right here, if I look down underneath dupla frames, I see I've got dupla sta, dupla n, that's dupla start. And what I can do here is several things. One is I can say, you know, I only need this to duplicate, say, 20 times. And that'll actually shorten the sequence there. So uh, for, for e basically, I'm getting a monkey for each arrow there. I've only got 20 monkeys. And that was nice. But, a, but 100 for 100% takes us all the way to the end there. So rather than, I do want to get the monkey all the way along the curve. So dupe, dupe off right here is actually how, how many monkeys to skip in between. So if I skip one, I do every other monkey, two, every third monkey every fourth monkey, every fifth monkey, every sixth monkey, so forth and so on. So I can actually have my monkey skipping some frames here, but ending up all along the curve. So that's shapes along a curve. You could obviously also do this, not just with a path, with any of the other curves in here, particularly a Bezier circle or a NURBS circle. 